I've been doing artwork full time for about around the last eight years. I did have a job in a warehouse or a record company that was full time, but I was doing artwork outside of that. Um, I did RZA for Wu Tang Clan's album cover whilst I was working in this record company warehouse. Um, and actually, uh, after after a time, I was I was still picking CDs as a day job, and Riz's album came in, and I had to put you know five thousand CDs with my artwork on the shelf, and then I did someone else's album cover artwork, and then so I had a, a few CDs I was putting out in shelves and putting in boxes in uh, goods out that have my artwork on it. Artists that inspired me when I was younger. My mum used to take me to the National Gallery and National Portrait Gallery and one of the first paintings I remember seeing was a painting of the head of the Medusa by Caravaggio. That really stuck in my mind. I was quite interested by the horrific image and also I was a big fan of the film Clash of the Titans which was made in 1981, the year I was born. So I was used to watch out at home. So from then I was kind of really straight off inspired by the masters, the Italian masters through Caravaggio and Raphael. And also, being a youngster, one of my favourite cartoons was Turtles and they're, they're named after the Renaissance masters. And then looking at that, I also liked cartoons to start drawing cartoon artwork. When you're younger, it's easier to draw a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle than trying to replicate a Caravaggio, which I tried when I was 10. But yeah, it's a lot easier and a lot brighter and a lot more colourful, so I started doing my own little comic book. Yeah, my artwork did get a bit kind of darker in tone and in theme, um, especially in the Book of Dead Children, as you mentioned, which is which was started out to be a sketchbook that I did to, to warm up to do drawings, to do album covers whilst I was still working at this record company job. And to warm up doing drawings, use black and white, simple ink sketches, sim simple ink washes. It wasn't meant to be the style I was going for. I always thought kind of art should be big oil paintings, coloured oil paintings, but it was, it was satisfying to be able to do a number of drawings in a short amount of time that I had in an evening. Whilst I was working full time, I didn't have much time, so doing these quick ink washes was, um, was good. It was rewarding to, to do quick sketches. And it just naturally, they were a bit darker in theme. The art, that artwork being quite dark in theme definitely did suit my mood at the time. I wasn't happy in this, this daytime job I was doing. And the music I liked, I was always kind of more swayed to, to enjoying the, the darker music. People like Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds or Joy Division um, always had a darker sound and darker kind of music, which I was kind of emulating naturally. The music's very important to me, so... I would always have music on and that would be translated into the work. And I enjoyed doing darker things, darker themes. I think which people do enjoy kind of darker stuff when you're younger. And as you get older, you might shift to lighter themes. I found art quite therapeutic to help with my mental state. Um, I, as, as a result of working full time and a few things that happened at home and life's tough and I did end up kind of my, my mood was naturally getting darker maybe I was realising that I was more prone to depressions and whatnot. Um, and then with stresses of working a full time job that you don't want to do I ended up drinking more and drinking turned to drugs and it all got quite dark and art was a therapy all the way through that and I didn't think it was necessarily reflect, reflecting um, the, the choices I was making at the time but looking back you can see that the art definitely reflected my mood or, or what was happening internally. Hip hop started influencing my work very early on um, hip hop was the first kind of genre of music I really got into. Um, I think the first thing I ever received as a present was uh, the Slam Jam rap, which was Macho King, Randy Savage, British Bulldog, Undertaker, 
um, to DBRC, I think was on it. And that was a little rap, because I was into wrestling when I was younger, and that was rap music, it was a little rap thing. So that was some, from there, I kind of grew into liking rap, and as I got older, more serious rap. And uh, the, the first album I bought was Doggy Style by Snoop Doggy Dog. Um, I was about 13 and I, I had to hide that album from my mother. Um, it's just the, the, this is the title of the album. But on that album, I, I, I'd really like the colourful, bright comic book artwork um, by a guy called Joe Cool, I believe he was called, which is one of Snoop's mates who, who drew a lot of Snoop Dogg's artwork. And inside that was a comic book, a very profane um, comic book and then got into Wu-Tang's music and I especially liked Riz's production more than the MC's which I thought was great Method Man was fantastic very appealing the kind of things he was talking about and his energy when an adolescent you kind of get the vibe um, but Riz's production was amazing and it was very dark very dark music and only Built for Cuban Links is a very dark album, and then The Genius Jizz's Liquid Swords is a very dark album, and Method Man's Takao is a gloriously gothic album. Um, so I really got into Wu-Tang and was sitting there drawing the W on, on everything, all school textbooks and whatnot, and I was the only guy at school, the only kid at school that was into hip-hop. And looking at the Geniuses album cover for Liquid Swords, which again was a comic book piece, the front cover was done by a guy that worked for DC Comics, but inside was a comic by Alar Mathematics, um, Wu Tang's DJ. Um, so again, it was a, like Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style. I, I was thinking album cover artwork. I'd really like to do album cover artwork for people I really admire, and that, that, that was Wu Tang. Um, and fast, and I, I really like mathematics artwork and that you fast forward a couple of years and I'm, I'm sat with Alarm Mathematics in London and we're having a, a competition of who can draw the W freehand best and he was the guy that came up with the idea of the Wu-Tang W. Um, so the, the day Wu-Tang did a concert in 2004 in London and I just graduated uh, art degree, graphic fine art. And I took some artwork on a postcard size piece of paper in, the, in my back pocket to the gig, just in case I could hand it to any of the, the Wu-Tang Clan. And their manager at the time, a guy called Banger, took the artwork and uh, kind of angrily said, you did this? And I'm like, uh-oh, what have I done? Uh, and he, he took the artwork and said, that's amazing, get over the barrier so I went over the barrier and started talking to members of the Wu-Tang which was amazing and quite terrifying at the time because I'm face to face with my idol the RZA I'm 23 years old and uh, it, was, it was quite a uh, yeah, exciting and worrying moment but it worked out alright my artistic mission I just want to keep being able to do artwork make it viable for me to do that and survive off it to be able to pay rent and eat and survive off doing my artwork and not having to go back to um, to having a full-time job doing something because I don't think I'm particularly skilled at doing anything other than drawing it's all, it's all I want to do so my mission is to be able to keep being able to paint and draw and do that full-time and then be able to create as much as I can and not be denied and doing what I want in life.